Welcome back to Building in Fallout. In our last episode, we were uh, looking for key fragments for the Raiders cache. So we have fast traveled to Fort Atlas because it is the closest free uh, fast travel to our next location, which is the Wendigo Cave. If the name's not a clue of what's in there, I don't know what is. But we're just going to take a small run from Fort Atlas. And we're going to be heading over to the other side of this Blood Eagles camp. So, if you want to clear it out, you can. If you want to go around it. Six of one, half a dozen of the other, really. For time constraints, I'm going to go around it. So there's usually some kind of enemy out front of the Wendigo Cave. A lot of times it's fair rules, but I think it really depends on your level. Speaking of Wendigos... Here, buddy. That was way too easy. Not a complaint, just an observation. But that's the uh, benefit of getting the drop on something with stealth. I'm not sure where that other feral bull went. But something that uh, will come up later uh, to note is you need a lot of screws. And Wendigos usually have a small stash on them. And it's almost guaranteed whatever kind of character you are running, you're, you're going to need screws. It's just one of the major components. Uh, just like adhesive, you're always going to end up needing some adhesive. So it's just nice having uh, a source you can come to. Because there's at least guaranteed one when to go in here. And I think they respawn every hour or every two hours. I'm not sure, but if you're like a once a day player and you just like, oh, I need six screws, you can come here and get, you know, four to six of them off a one one to go. And it's not too hard to get to his location. There are a few things in the way, uh, feral ghouls being one. But, let's go ahead and, oh come on, did I go too far? Of course I would. I'll go ahead and grab all this ammo you're never possibly going to uh, use all of. Now, there's a few caverns to take, but we're uh, not going to explore the everything for time constraints. We're just going to stick with the most direct path. Now again, depending on your level, is the additives that will be in here. You've already seen that there's Feral Ghoul. But there are also Mirelurk, so it could be a Hunter, it could be a King. It could just be Mirelurk. It really depends on your level. Now this is a great place for brain fungus, this is um, a few places here for I think glowing fungus too. So if those soups are your deal, now be careful this is a mole rat. 
So in case you ever wonder why it's like, oh, I'm in caution or danger and you don't see anything, it's because you need to come up to where the uh, mole rat actually spawns. Now, I'm not entirely sure about um, mining nodes. I'm pretty sure I missed most of the ones that are in here, if there are any. But, of course I didn't hit him in the face. Now, sometimes if you're lucky, the Mirelurks won't even, really, become hostile. But that's if you're lucky. I don't know how y'all have such bad eyesight. Got such big eyes. But we're not going to go to the left, we're going right. Because we just want the one to go. See, look, he's friendly. I need the meat. Yeah, no, now I'm gonna... Actually, I think there's something back here. I think this is mining nodes. Yep, gold. Which is super useful. Wrong button. Well, right button not held long enough. So I'm not entirely sure why the Mirelurk likes me. But I'll take it. Saves me ammo. Now this cave, if you had noticed, there's a lot of bone traps. But there are also some um, punjai boards and things of that nature. That sounds like a hunter. It is a hunter. And they are hostile. If I can get the drop on him. Shouldn't be too bad. But I hit the Punjai board, so there's that. Okay, so they will turn hostile in certain situations. That is good to know. I still just don't know why they're passive in the first place. But when you get down to this part, you're really just looking to follow the lanterns and stuff like that. Because we're looking for... Uh, The Gourmands hid out here. Ooh, you're legendary too. Forget you and your poison, sir. Hatchlings. Not my shtick, but it's worth script, especially if it's uh, two stars, that's more script. So again, if you see lanterns or these punjai boards, you know you're in the right spot. But when you get to this little waterfall is when our target's going to show up. And he will drop from the ceiling. Did you just attack an enamel bucket? Thanks for saving my life, bucket. There's the key fragment. Yeah, 
so you can see he dropped eight screws. Holy cow. Not to mention their teeth is worth acid. So. Yep. So to get out of here, I want to say it's this way. Alright. He's probably all mouth formed and disgusting now. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so now we're being sent to the last key fragment. But we got ourselves to level twenty five. So now what the uh, pop-up was saying is that you can now mess with your specials. So if you think you've made a little bit of a mistake or something of that nature, hey, Scrappy. Or Scrapper, you yeah, know, that's a good one. But if you think you've made a, an error, then you can adjust it. And I will demonstrate that. Not to mention it gives you the equipment to do such uh, unlocked for your camp. Whenever you hit 25, so there's a new camp item to go throw in. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so... There's really nothing... Now, Exterminator's better than you think because um, bugs include the obvious things like uh, bloat flies and stingwings and rad roaches, but it also covers things like um, mire lurks and rad scorpions. So always good to have and I think I'm not sure where to go because there's really nothing uber useful I'm going to be needing once we start throwing things into the heavy weapons uh. Yeah, heavy weapons do go through some ammo, and I already have the first step, so we'll rank that up. So, Scrounger, that is already maxed for me, so I'll take more perk coins. Scrapper's good, but I think it's overrated. I mean, that, that could be useful, too. But now that we're level 25, um, well, we don't need to actually walk out of here um so it's to the south the easiest thing to do is hit uh sunny top or pleasant valley i mean station and walk down the road to it this is honestly one of the easiest of the collections and once we actually do collect it uh rose is going to want us to come back to the top of the world and give her the fragments which, we're not going to do that. We're actually going to take a break from the, uh, find this area that, uh, the key fragment's at first. Because this barbecue shack has the benefit of almost always having fox around. Which you can make fox jerky from. And that is, uh, beneficial. I, I think it's a plus two to agility. But I'm going to have to find out. It's also a good scavengeable spot for food. 
and has a cooking area because, you know, it's a barbecue shack. Of course it would. But from here, we're just going to take a little side road. Yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I do believe this is somebody's emergency camp. Yep. That is exactly what this is. It's pretty awesome. Well, all it has is a bed. No, oh, there we go. Oh, come on. Break stuff down and such. Alright. This is a nice one. Yeah. I do like this tent. Hmm. Cool. So yeah, if you head straight through uh, this small patch of forest, you should eventually come across the road. There we go. So once you find the little back road, just follow it to the barbecue shack. Should be at the top of this hill. Now the fox are not aggressive, and uh, I honestly feel bad for killing them. I love fox. I do. And there's usually about three of them. And there's also Scorched about that like Fox too. So. Now, one of them is going to be all dolled up in Raider armor. There he is. And that's our target. So once you find him, grab the fragment off of him. Hey you, I watched you kill David with a viewfinder. So that's a thing that happened. Hey, on most of it by now you've got everything we need. Turning back so we can plug that cat wide open and see what's inside. No one All right. Well. Let's go ahead. Come on. Let me out the armor. And I just had a thought. Uh, once we give the fragments over, she wants us to go to Charleston. Anyway. So I think we might actually go back and see Rose because we already have ourselves a camp down there in Charleston and it's also where we're going to be needing to uh, move on with our uh, equipment upgrade so yeah just grab anything that uh, Looks useful again, most of its food items. Oh, am 
Hold on a second. Always grab a pepper mill. It has a screw. And there's an extra carrot. I am a fan of carrot soup. So, yep, the fox jerky gives you a plus two to agility. Really useful, especially if uh, you're trying to milk as much damage as you can get out of, uh, like, a, a pistols build. Or something that is highly reliant on agility. Okay, so... I'm overweight. How bad? That bad. Still overweight. It's probably because all those chems from the previous episode finally wore off. <sighs> Yet another reason I don't like working with chems. Um. Well. Oh, I'm still five out. Hmm. three pounds. Alright, so if it's only three pounds, um... Scrap kit. That worked. And you can always grab more of those in the, uh... Atomic shop. Not to mention there are daily free... Like, for example, I got Scout Banner and... Why do I have three of these? Haven't been opening them is why. All right, so let's go ahead and actually we're going to fast travel back to the station because I've got a lot of stuff in my inventory I need to whittle down legendaries for script and aid for the vendor. Yeah, that was a good picture. It's taking up my buddy's base and his chill like outside area. I'm on the right in the uh Assaultron helmet and scribe uniform. He was our recon scout. So the build that I'm running right now, he was uh, specializing in being a recon sniper. His mark targets. And I would come in with the heavy weapon as a distraction, and once everybody was, uh, good and distracted, we had our heavy explosives guy blow him up. Solid strategy. Always remember, kids, whatever weapon you're holding is usually the ammo you'll find in the crates, or on the bodies. Alright, so, no, uh-uh, not using it, no thank you. Um, we'll get rid of it here shortly, when we get our, uh, equipment upgrade, but for now, we're gonna hold on to it. All right, so now there's all that. All right.
that's always worth a good bit of money picking up random explosives same thing you looking at me how about you stop looking and start buying Yeah, I haven't been to a shop in a while, it seems. <clears throat> Almost took half his caps in one go. Now, you only get 1,400 caps a day. So, major downside there. But there's a little glitch. Don't know if they have fixed it yet. But if you've reached your cap with your character, go make a new character run straight to a vendor and talk to them so that it brings your cap limit back to 14 and then switch to uh, that's funny switch back to the character that you need the money fours and it should still be at the 1400 and then you can just go and delete the uh, new character you made not even sure you need to actually run to a vendor but don't know if they fixed that. I just know that used to work back in the day. So we're going to come right back over here to good old Rose. Always remember to scavenge for supplies. If you know something spawns in that area, go check it. And again, always remember to go to the observation level. The mezzanine level is just full of scorched. But it's all scavengeable too, so... Chance for an energy weapon. Chance for a magazine. Desk fan, alarm clock, and broken camera. So there are reasons to come pay Rose a visit, just because she's got some good scavengeables. So go ahead and just turn everything over to her and. Now she wants you to search for information on Rosalind, which is the bandit she's based off of. And that's down here in the capital. So if you're not camping down here, you could just come to the uh, Rusty Pick for free. Um, you know, you already have it. So it'd be 23 caps to come from here. So you can cut the cost down tremendously. But what we're going to do instead is we're going to head to the Rusty Pick, and then we are heading down here. So free fast travel to the exterior. Now you can go inside, uh, you know, there's a vendor in there who will allow you to trade your script for either um, random legendaries so it'll be a category like power armor or armor um, or weapon and it'll be completely random as to what you're gonna get
but it's also where you can get the um, legendary modules to go with your legendary cores that you win from public events and those allow you to roll your legendary aspects oh uh, here we go so now there's two different ally missions that are now available um, one's for Beckett and one's for Sofia Daguerre but We'll worry about that later. We just got the settler to, or the forger to settle at our camp. Now we are close to um, one of the power armor locations where it can spawn over there at the mine, but there is now no need to farm for pieces. Reason number one being. Oh, wait, we're going the wrong way. Uh, reason number one being we're about to go and obtain a uh, plan for a new set of power armor. Now, that's the good news. The bad news is this power armor needs a lot of black titanium. And I can almost guarantee we don't have enough. Uh, ways... Eh. Ways of getting black titanium, um, for one, uh, and what most people would say is the easiest, I argue different, is uh, find a public event that deals with a lot of mole miners. And then just take the mole miner scrap off of them. Or stay down here in the ash heap where they like to... Uh, where they like to spawn a lot and just take the yeah I think it's the minor scrap that has black titanium because breaking it down is going to give you one piece but you're not guaranteed that they're going to have that item on them so the 36 I think it's 36 pieces you need for your first build um, that means you need to find it 36 times and it's not a guarantee you're going to get it from the first 36 miners you take out so the other way is of course finding a um, an extractor and that is what we are going to end up doing once we get there um, the way that I like to accomplish it is because we already know where one is set up if you've been watching the series um, one of the first workshops that we took over was the gorge workshop in the forest area up near morgantown it has a titanium node that you can mine from but there are also ones dotted around the map and i have a personal favorite one how is that not in his breather But I have a personal favorite when it comes to an open black titanium. And we will get there. But see, miner's suit scrap. That's what you want. And it'll have one piece of black titanium. So. But again, we're not guaranteed to get that scrap every single time. Now, I'm going a little bit off the beaten path because I'm walking into the Nuka World Tour. It is one of the awesome locations in the game, but it is yet again another free fast travel location. The reason that that is a good thing is because it's one of the few free fast travels that has everything you need in a little crafting corner. Not to mention there's, you know, games and other things that you can mess around with. But just to make a point of what I was saying earlier. 
I have 22, which is not bad, but I still need 36. So you can see how that's pricey. And again, that's just for the level 25 version of what we're building. That's not including the level 35 version or the level 45 version. But to be completely honest, you can skip the level 35 version if done right. And then you can just get the 45 because that's the max level of that armor type that you can get. But another reason it's good to be here is, you know, here's a chem vendor. There's a food vendor over in this one. Um, a bunch of stuff that you can scavenge. Don't mind me as I just... Nope, I'm just stealing. Um... <laughs> I mean, sca scavenging, scavenging. That's what I meant, scavenging. But from here, I'm going to take the time to walk up towards the um, train station just to get it found. Not to mention, if someone else hasn't come in and grabbed them. There's a bunch of unique food that you can only get here at the Nuka World Tour. <laughs> Excuse me, like the carnival pie, which gives max HP. Um, sometimes there's a bunch of nuka. Right here is a nuka dog. Uh, nuka dog. It, it that's max HP as well. So that's the problem though, is because they don't stack. So technically, I just lost out on plus ten max HP. No big deal, but. Fried rad roach on a stick, rad scorpion kebab, gulper stuffed foot, and the fried rad scorpion on a stick. I've never found these recipes, but as you can see, that's a plus three to agility, that's a 35 to your energy resist, that is a plus two to strength, and that is a plus three to agility again. So, very desirable food items. A lot of people come by and scavenge them. Whenever they're ready to uh, go on a big hunt or something of the like. Nice. Now, funny thing is a public event for the Tunnel of Love just showed up. That is one of the Nuka World events. So, we're already here. We could do it personally. Um, it's one of the events that does not give you a suggested level. And personally, I, I would suggest you be a pretty uh, high level. Because there will be mole miners at first. And then there will be death claws by the end of it. So, be ready for some heavy stuff, if that's the case. Alright, now... We are wanting to head towards those Mega Mansions. So, in case you ever get lost, just look to the sky. I think I need to go around. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to get stuck trying to climb the mountain this way. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, let's just head up the mountain this way. Now, as far as the Mega Mansions are concerned, one, I do believe, is for the Garans, and then the other one is for the Hornrites, the two big mining moguls in the area. Now, the Horn Rites, we already have the passcode for because we've already been to their HQ with the Motherload mission. So, you can gain access to that pretty easy, which is uh, needed for the um, Overseer mission. And not the one that we're following now. Um, eventually, at level 20, it actually opened it up for us, but you can go talk to the Overseer in Sutton. And she'll send you on this whole um, mission to try and 
one spread the inoculation to everybody so that they don't turn into scorched and that's including crater and foundation but eventually it, it turns into this whole um affair of trying to find the treasure of Appal Appalachia and it's it's craziness so this is the unfinished mega mansion if you want to find it you can but it's not essential the Garan mega mansion is it's right next to um another facility of theirs and that's what we're here for so if you want to find this location you can there's actually a friendly inside um it's a friendly ghoul she's camping out in the bottom of the tower can never remember her name though. There she is. Yeah, Frida. But we are not interested in that. We are interested to head over here. You can see the uh, miscellaneous quest has popped up. Now, mind you, we could have actually gotten this quest earlier from the Rusty Pick. The same poster we're about to investigate is outside of it, but we needed to be here anyway. So, might as well investigate it now. So be careful, uh, this place is littered with robots. Your smoke screen will not save you, sir. This guy, maybe. Now, when it comes to fighting robots, the throwing knives do a flat damage no matter where they hit, and they will ignore armor. So, really good idea to use them on robots. But, if you come over here, see this fancy dancy poster for the excavator power armor. So, go ahead and investigate that, and that'll start minor miracles. Now, you can start this at any point in time, but it'll say that it's optional to become level 25 first. It's not optional. You can't build the armor that you gain the plans for until you're level 25, and you can't finish the mission until you build the armor. So it's not optional. Now, be careful. There are frag mines about. So be warned. You have that one there, and then there's a few on the stairs. Like, there's one right there on the stairs. So, you can take that out, or if you've, you know, already got yourself some power armor, take out the first one, and then whee! Nothing, eh? I remember one time I came through here, this duffel bag had a minigun in it. Luck was just with me at that point. So we go ahead and head inside the headquarters. There's three heads in that sentence. All of a sudden, my language has turned into a Cerberus. And if you get the reference, we can be friends. Who doesn't like ancient mythology? Alright, so, take your time, snipe out your targets, because there are, um, if we're lucky, it's robo-brains, if we're unlucky, it's assaultrons, but there is a big bad enemy down in the bottom of this area. Sometimes it's also a Mr. Gutsy. All of these are not the best options, but just take your time, snipe out any threats that you come across on your way to the terminal. Oh, come on. Always be on the lookout for technical data. 
so we're looking for excavator queries that'll checkpoint us and point us in the direction of the project managers terminal so now we're gonna come this away and always remember that the protectrons limbs take more damage than even their critical weak spots so it's a good exploit in that fact alright so now be careful though if you take their arms out and it doesn't kill them they will go into an overload and explode so fair warning there alright now normally there can be a power armor chassis standing here I noticed that it's actually in the other room this time so it has the chance to spawn with some power armor parts uh, not the excavator but uh, it's random it'll be a T something um, I'm not gonna this is a good place to scavenge though oh yeah there's a lot of good things around here even stuff that's just lying about uh, not to mention it's one of the few places where you can find the plans for a tinkerer's workbench and a chemistry workbench in the same area so if you were uh, into the being real sneaky and just passively come through you could very easily find both of those for free in this area now like I said this uh, this has spawned uh, level 20 how about that I'm gonna take it this is spawned randomly um, sometimes it's over there most of the time it's just an empty one over there not even a fusion core but T45 pieces can spawn on the table too they will be random as to what level they are but ooh that thing hurts just because I don't want it chasing after me but then again if it stands in one spot it just keeps blasting you with that laser beam that is not terrifying at all calm down Terminator I'm not Sarah Connor Alright, now, I should be careful, this has a chance to explode and they'll do it in stealth too. You won't hear it coming. So, I'm just gonna back off for a second. And hope that there's no big boom. That thing took a lot of damage for one limb. But, as I was saying, you have T45 stuff that will... pop up on the table as well and it's random I was just lucky that this stuff was uh, level 20s so I will take it well that was a delayed reaction was I taking minor damage I don't know what that was about uh, stim pack microscope bunch of good stuff to scavenge down here All right. Intense. and if you happen to get over encumbered there's a bunch of different uh, crafting stations now there's always a pristine minor uniform here in case you want to you know look your best like you haven't been underground a day in your life oh excuse me but what we are here for Go ahead and 
Yeah, because you're a copy. All right. And now I don't have that one raider piece, so I actually look like a legitimate soldier. Uh, Daddy would have been proud. But uh, moving on, we're going to get into this terminal. And get the blueprints. So now, if you really wanted to, you could save this frame, this T-45, if that's your thing, if you think this looks awesome, which I, I honestly do, it is one of my favorites, um, then you could save it, or you can just work on the frame that you've already got going for you, but here's what we're going to do, is I'm going to hop out. We're going to go to craft, and then we're going to do some math. Oh, I know, I know. But, uh, so for the leg, again, six pieces, six pieces. So, six times six is 36. I was correct. So, before we go, well, is there anything else we need? Got the glass, got the rubber, got the screws, got the steel. But here's where I was saying you're going to need screws. You're always going to need screws. But it seems I have the everything we need is just that black titanium. All right. So that being said, now is the time to go and find some black titanium. Again, there's several ways to do this. The mole miners is one. Uh, finding a black titanium deposit and putting a resource on it is another. So... I do need quite the amount. The best idea I have is I know where one uh, titanium is. It's over here um, in the Berkeley Springs, Harper's Ferry area. Yeah, more closer to Harper Springs. Harper Springs, yeah. Harper's Ferry. But right over here, like in this... I want to say it's like right here. But it's within a mountain range. Um, you know. Nope. Nope, that does not work. Yep, that's how we would have to do it. So, since we need the black titanium, um, most of the time I would just say go up here to the gorge junkyard, but... That does attract a lot of attention. So for now that we've gotten this far, we are actually going to put this mission on the back burner. And we're going to continue with what we were doing because eventually when we're done with Rose, she is actually going to send us up here to Abby's bunker. And we're going to need to be in the mire anyway. So, since we're already going to be in the mire, um, not to mention I personally like to build a camp here in the mire. Uh, one, because of the resource and the area is a really nice location. And two, I'm a West Virginia native from the Eastern Panhandle. So, this is like my hometown area. I live halfway between... Berkeley Springs and Harper's Ferry. I'm like right in here at the Thunder Power Mountain or Thunder Mountain Power Station. So, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, we're gonna pick it back up probably from the Charleston Capitol building. But hopefully, you found this informative and entertaining, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.